Okay, in the last video um, I told you how to install root. I switched now to my laptop because I have no access at the moment to my other PC, but uh, the same operating system is installed also here and root has been pre-installed so we can directly start with the work. For that I created a new folder, I call it tutorials and uh, the scripts that we create now will be created in this folder. <coughs> the first script uh, will have the name tut1.c for tutorial1. Uh, so we can edit this script and first we have to define a function and this function should have the same name as the file uh, so uh, it should be a void so we call it void toot1 in parentheses and then curly bracket open uh, curly bracket close and uh, now we will type all the root commands in this function and later we will start it to see what happens so as I said, the first thing that we want to do is uh, creating a histogram. The function that we need for, uh, the, sorry, the uh, type which we need for that is called th1f. H stands for histogram, 1 for one dimension, and f for float. So we can fill in float values. We can also use i for integer, but for the time being we will use uh, capital F for float. And um, how we uh, what we have to give as parameters to the constructor we can see in the official root uh, documentation which is uh, very powerful and uh, in principle uh, easy to find S even uh, via Google you can find all the important commands that you need so we see the typical constructor th1f the first is a <coughs> char which is the name of the histogram this will be shown on the upper right corner, then uh, the title of the histogram we can define, then the number of pins, then the start point of the x-axis and the end point of the x-axis. So with this um, <coughs> we define our first histogram. You can do it on the stack or on the heap. I usually prefer on the heap um, due to reasons that will become uh, later a little bit clearer. So let's call this histogram hist. Uh, and so we make a new th1f and uh, the first as I said is the name so we call it just hist then uh, the second parameter is the title let's call it histogram then we have to define the number of bins let's suppose uh, let's suppose 100 then we have to define the start value 0 and the end value let's suppose 100 and uh, then we can uh, draw this histogram. Before we do this, um, we have to create a canvas uh, with the command t canvas, and let's call this canvas just uh, c1. Again, on the heap, so new t canvas. And uh, yeah, now also the canvas is basically the window in which then the histogram will be drawn. So now we will draw the histogram hist draw and uh, uh, first we save it this we will put in the background and as you expect uh, it should give an empty histogram so let's uh, try this root to one dot C uh, yeah and uh, this is the canvas C1 and this is the histogram called hist and the title is shown here of course this is not very uh, very interesting we have to fill it to see that what really happens so we want to fill it with one value let's suppose we want to fill it uh, with the value 10 the command for that is fill again this can be also seen here from the manual uh, so we will fill it with 10 now we start the program again and you can see here at the value 10 there is one entry so here one entry the mean value is of course 10 and the standard deviation must be 0 now in the next step we want to fill also another value let's say 90 and we start the program again and here you see two bars one at 10 one at 90 the mean value is of course 50 and the standard deviation is also automatically calculated by root and given as 40 
Okay, I think, uh, I hope that this was clear enough. <coughs> uh, in the next step, we want to um, uh, change the, or I want to add the titles to the axis. So for this, we use the command <coughs> uh, hist, then first for the x axis, so it is get x axis, um, and then the command or the function set title. So at the moment, uh, the entries have no meaning, so we just call it x axis, and um, for the y axis, we have to do the same get y axis, set title, y axis. And uh, now we start it, and as you can see, uh, the titles are shown here. Uh, the cosmetics, how to change the font size, for example, this I will show in one of the next videos. But for the time being, um, this, uh, this should be enough. Uh, you can try this by your own. Um, the commands I will also put later in the description. And then um, you, uh, you are able now to draw your first histogram. Then later I will tell you um, how to uh, create graphs how to read out data plotted in histogram and uh, then I think you know a lot of things already how to proceed and I hope uh, you stay tuned for the next videos. Um, so uh, thank you very much for your attention and see you next time.